and welcome to Armand Metals, your one-stop channel for all things RC and crafts. Uh, today we're going to be continuing our series on the T-Beacon uh, and uh, we're going to be adding a GPS so that we can get uh, more precise uh, location information uh, when we're trying to find our lost plane or quad or anything else that you want to find uh, using this uh, remarkable device. Uh, so um, let's take a look at uh, the simple, very, very simple wiring of the GPS. First of all, you need a product that is um, going to work. There is a list on the T-Beacon website as to what they, they already have connected. Uh, they don't have this GPS, but it does work. It is the uh, U-Block Neo 6M. So uh, I can attest to the fact that this product does work. Uh, and this is also one of the more popular uh, GPS units out there. So that makes it uh, really handy because you can buy these anywhere, and ranging from anywhere from $10 to $15 max. I'll give you a link. Uh, at least to, I'll give you a link. You can buy it anywhere you want, but at least you'll know uh, the product I'm talking about. And you can find it on eBay or AliExpress or Amazon or any of those places. So we're still continuing along with our uh, T-Beacon. Uh, as before, uh, I love this product. Um, it is my insurance policy when I go flying FPV. If I'm staying close to the park, I will be using my locator. Um, but um, it doesn't have the range that the T-Beacon has. Uh, and it also doesn't have the ability to give you your GPS coordinates so you have a precise location. So let's start with the simple wiring. Then we'll show you uh, entering the coordinates. I'm sure you all know how to do that. but I'm going to show you anyway for those that are just starting out in the hobby uh, that may not be as familiar as others as to how this all works. So wiring. On the U-Block 6M, uh, I am only need to be concerned about three wires. I need to be concerned about the power, which is the red, the ground, the black. And in this case here, I need the transmit, which is the white lead coming off this U-Block. Now there's so many different varieties of this product you'll have to look at the documentation and discover which one is the TX on your U-Block. Very important. Uh, then, uh, I, for the demonstration purposes, I have them plugged into a, a 5-volt U-Back so that I can power it on and I can show you how things work. Then on the T-Beacon, I only need the three leads. I need my 5-volt, my, uh, which is the red wire, the black wire for ground, and I need the green wire which is the uh, RX, okay? So we want the RX from the T-Beacon going to the, T, uh, the TX on the, um, on the GPS. That's what's gonna be communicating and transmitting your, um, your coordinates. So once you have that connection and you power it on, and I will show you this uh, again when we look at the uh, entering the data uh, into uh, Google Maps, that's what I use, easiest to do. Uh, I'm just going to power this on, and I'm going to power on my for one. That's my voltage. Okay, so I'm ready to go, and I'm going to uh, press my press to talk as well as my AB switch. Hold them for five or six seconds. Release them, and, and we'll get the strength of location. What we're going to hear next is we're going to have a little tone and then the GPS coordinates and it's going to do that three times. Four, five, three, one, nine, six, six. So you need to write that those coordinates down and remember there's a point after the uh, first two digits. It's going to do this three times to give you time to uh, write down those coordinates. Kind of handy. Uh, that's all there is to uh, using this product. We're now going to take a look at entering in the screen and showing you how you're going to find your lost plane or quad or anything else that you're trying to find. Okay, now let's take a look at how we're going to uh, enter that into the map. I'm sure you all know it, but we'll do it anyway. I'm going to tweak the T-beacon. I'm going, to, I'm going to listen now for the GPS coordinates and enter them in Google Maps.
I'm going to have to wait for it. It'll do it three times, but I forgot. I didn't get all the numbers, so I'm going to wait for the, the next time. Okay, now you just simply enter those coordinates in. Enter those coordinates in, and it gives you the location right here on the map where your lost plane or quad or whatever you're looking for is located. Easy. I hope you enjoyed this short video on connecting your uh, T-Beacon to the GPS and how to then locate your uh, craft or any other object you're looking for. Uh, when it's lost. So uh, if you uh, enjoyed this video, please say like and please subscribe if you want to see more videos on this issue and stay tuned for the next video on connecting this to a craft and the importance of this uh, simple cable that comes with the T-Beacon. So we'll see you next time at Emerald Meadows. Bye bye for now.